We can sigh a bit of a relief uh, knowing that it's not coming uh, imminently. Uh, it was expected to come within the next two to three years uh, as this was a five-year plan. So uh, now that the uh, the Liberals have gotten in and put a moratorium on it, it's uh, now we can stop and, and take a breath and, and move forward with the, uh, the rest of the conversation with Canadians. How many jobs are saved here locally? Uh, we've already lost uh, a number of jobs uh, just from the sorting because all the uh, local mail that used to be sorted locally is now shipped to Toronto. So if you want to uh, send a letter across town, it goes to Toronto first and then back up here. So uh, that's something that we'd like the Liberals to look at uh, closely. Um, as far as how many jobs we've saved just from the door to door, a guesstimate between 19 and 25 jobs. It, it's a it's a large local impact. Uh, we're talking over a million dollars out of the local economy with the loss of just those jobs alone. Never mind the the families and and that are uh, affected. The local union pres spoke highly of those who voiced their displeasure with the plan to phase out door to door delivery. The the, the seniors and the differently abled really came out uh, and, and opposed these uh, draconian cuts from the Stephen Harper uh, Conservative government. Uh, small businesses, I think, as well, uh, are really uh, happy that uh, they're going to continue getting their mail and not have to pay somebody to go pick it up for them, and uh, which is you know a cost of business that they're not uh, they don't uh, support right now. With the plan to phase out door-to-door -door halted, does that signal the end to the Save Door-to-Door -door campaign? It, it continues until uh, Canada Post is uh, truly saved. Uh, I mean, uh, there's nothing saying that they can't turn around and, and continue this. Uh, I think the people have spoken. We want change. We've demanded change. We expect change. We expect better government from, from our new uh, Liberal govern, uh, government. So. You know, going forward, I think that that conversation happens with the public, uh, with the citizens, the true owners of Canada Post, uh, to decide what service uh, and, and at what cost. For Coach Go North Bay News, I'm Clark Heipel.